Okay, are we on? We're on. Hey everyone, it's Autobot Sarah here. Uh, we're doing a... I've already unboxed this. Um, I'm doing a video review, and we're going to need this huge space. Um, or a, a lot of space. What I'm going to be showing you, I've already unboxed for my Facebook page. Uh, you can go and like it. Uh, Western Mass De uh, Dungeons & Dragons, if you so choose. Helping would be a huge benefit. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't do any other major D&D videos at the moment. Um, and I'm presently alone. So I figure, hey, let's do this. Um, but again, I've already unboxed this for that channel. And yeah, at this point, I'm mostly keeping it in the box because I don't have a lot of space. Uh, but I do have some comparisons that we could do for it. So here we go. Uh, so no mail call. This is just straight. Let's show it off. Uh, but I did want to show you guys at least this. This is the new Gargantuan Tiamat from WizKids for Dungeons and Dragons. This thing is huge. This thing is massive. God, every time I open this up, it just feels like Christmas all over again. So, let's get in there. Start with the wings. One of my friends, uh, when they, when WizKids did the live unboxing back in October, I'd said, yeah, yeah, ow. It's uncomfortable, but you can wear the hat, the wing, as a hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know what? Just leave it there. Here's wing number two. Here's the tail. And I want to show something off that I've been really lucky with mine. And I've actually heard this true with a couple. And I'm not sure if it's just, you know, production issues or quality control issues. But I'm okay with them. This is the one time... Is a, like I collect Transformers, um, Hero Clicks. I have Warhammer. There's a couple of my Warhammer models for 40k that the quality control is obnoxiously bad. And this is the one time if this is quality control that had a problem. Absolutely. Here's the Bee Beach herself. And there she is. This is Tiamat without her wings and shit. She is massive. Yeah, the, the way I have to do this, here's the door with all that sunlight coming through. But you can just see some of the color. She's really vibrant. Really vibrant. There is a level of assembly required. You do have to attach the tail and the wings. Don't push your tail all the way in. And this is where the first quality control issue that I, that at least on mine, is coming into play. When you, you have a couple of grooves. Let's take a look at the tail. No. There's a slot right in here. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see that. And a couple of um, edges here as well. It's supposed to click on there. Well, I don't know what's going on. I don't think the actual female port in the tail where it plugs into is fully done because you can see there's still a crack so i can't push this all the way i mean it's really hard to push all the way in to begin with but i cannot get it in there for the life of me i mean it's on there and it's it's staying on there like moving her around it's staying on there and here comes uh quality control issues two and three and again they're not really issues to me i'm perfectly fine with them the wings now, on most copies, if you don't want to have this, like, out on your shelves or don't have the space, don't push the wings all the way in. I have heard on dozens of copies that this doesn't unfortunately happen with, but on mine, it's great that it does. I can push mine all the way in on both sides. And they will come out. 
And again, I don't know if that's just, you know, quality control problem on my copy of this, or if it's actually something that they decided that, you know, this is why I got delayed again, because this was supposed to be out, what, November, sometime in October, like late October, early November. I just got this a week ago now, actually last Thursday, so the 9th, mine just came in. She is massive. I mean, truly massive. Like, one of the comparisons they did was with a soda can next to her. And there's a can of Mountain Dew. Okay. We're going to push her over a little bit. For you Warhammer players. Now, I do have a couple armies. But I'm going to show with what I have right here that I'm working on. Here's her next to a Necron Warrior. Here's her next to a Lunar Zeris. Here's her next to a Canoptic Reanimator. <laughs> and she's huge. She's massive. Like, I've got a couple Space Marine models over here, too. A couple of my Black Templar stuff that we can still show this off. Here's her next to a Hammer Strike Speeder. Here's her next to a Storm Talon. She's huge. And these are models that are not to scoff at either. Like, I even have an Imperial Knight Castellan. And like, this is this is one of those bigger models. And again, she just dwarfs the fuck out of it. Yeah, this is not gonna be for kids. Oh, screw it. She is truly a beast. She is truly massive. Let's get her next to the original, the OG. Well, oh no, that's still buried away somewhere. Okay, that's okay. We do have a couple more comparisons we can do. Uh, here's her next to the first Icons of the Realm, Tiamat. And this is still a great Tiamat sculpt. Like, if you can't afford this, which, and she is a lot of money. Uh, me and a friend split this for my birthday, but she is a lot of money. So don't, don't worry about if you can't get a hold of this one, this is still a great Tiamat model that'll still be like, oh, dude. But I mean, that is the size comparison. She is huge. Let's get down something truly massive. This is Heroclix, uh, what was this, 2020's super awesome figure. This is Galactus. And I mean, these are two absolutely imposing figures. Galactus is enormous to begin with. Like, here's him, here's the two of them next to, like, Doctor Doom. Like, on camera right now, because I, and to keep these in frame, you guys are good, what, two feet? Two and a half feet back. You can barely see Dr. Doom right there. Barely see him. These two. Massive figures. Absolutely massive. Um, like, just to give you, especially since this is more D&D, here's a Hero Forge mini. Like, come on. She is truly awe-inspiring. Uh, don't want the hero full. Let's go with, you know, he, here's on, and, and this is still on the larger medium end of the bracket. This is the um, Black Dragon Wormling from Nulzers that I painted up for one of my campaign encounters. That is insane. This is an insane model. And miniature. And when you hold this one-handed, I mean, she's definitely up there. The moment you get two hands on there, she's definitely more manageable. But one-handed, uh, I'd be terrified. But yeah, I mean, just look at that. And this is where I wanted to show off more of that quality control. Now that I'm done with the comparisons, do I recommend, um, before I go any further, do I recommend this? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, this is what we should have had when Tyranny of Dragons first came out, when the Rise of Tiamat first came out. This makes me want to replay a Tyranny of Dragons campaign so that during Rise of Tiamat, I can put this out there. This thing is enormous, and I love it.
Um, you know what? Let's do one more. I just want to show her, show it off with these. Here is her next to, ooh, that is dusty. The adult white dragon. And I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. The adult white dragon, oh my god, all the adult dragon's heads can fit into the red dragon mouth. That is truly amazing. That is, I've actually not done this comparison. I did her a comparison with her with the adult red dragon. Unfortunately, I've got him a couple things piled on top of him. So I can't do that, but damn, that's amazing. Um, I do recommend this. She is pricey. Uh, a couple of my friends, had, uh, like the friend who helped split me with this, he decided he wanted one. He actually found one on Amazon for overall almost $80 less than what we paid for this at our LGS. That's still pretty significant. It's still a lot of money. But if you can afford it, I recommend it. Going back to the quality thing. Like the tail? Tail's off. Wings? There's one. Now, whichever wing you decide to pop off first, like I can do it. Oh, it'll still be this one. All right, so on mine, easiest way for me to get this one off, I found, is just, of course, now it doesn't want to do it. Oh, you'll do it. Ah, there we go. It's just kind of play with it a little bit. So I wasn't able to get the, ugh fully show that but what it is is you just kind of want to work her oh shoot just kind of back and forth and it'll eventually come loose and it'll come right off that is the gargantuan team um she is enormous i know i'm not the first person to put this video online i know i'm not going to be the last but you know what she is enormous. She is awesome. This is definitely something, like, if I'm a player, I would not, and I saw my DM put this on the table, um, I'd be the first person to say, do we really want to do this? Is this really going to happen? And keep in mind, I was originally saying I didn't want this, but when my friend offered, you know, to split for my birthday, I was like, hey, yeah, fuck it. Final thoughts. Oh god, where do we begin? She is gorgeous, she is detailed. Like this thing is amazing. Um once I show it off to my play group, my regular group, uh, unfortunately we're not meeting up right now. Um unfortunately due to COVID. So there she is. I'm just gonna leave off the tail for a moment. So there she is. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Everything helps. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see more. Come around. So this is the big girl. This is her. She is pretty. Just pet the team at. Catch you guys later.